This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Diddy speaks out following the release of the hotel surveillance video that shows him putting hands and feet on poor Cassie. My heart goes out to her. Diddy says that he was effed up and hit rock bottom, but makes no excuses for his behavior. He did take full responsibility for his actions in the video and explains he sought out professional help including therapy and rehab. Diddy then apologizes and says that he's committed to being a better man each and every day. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, I had to go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. Committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. But you know, the apology has fallen on deaf ears. He neglected to apologize directly to Cassie and also to the deceased Kim Porter. There's a lot of rumors about the relationship that it was similar to Cassie's. And many are feeling that he is only sorry because he got caught. And his denial of Cassie's lawsuit would have been the best time to show that he was a changed man and that he had sought professional help, that he was in therapy. A look at what he said then. When the lawsuit had come out, he said, he said, time tells truth. And this was his statement, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. So here we have his uh, statement here. And then let's play his apology again. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I, was, I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. So what happened with this uh, statement? Sickening allegations, but... We witnessed the sickening allegations. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I had to go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. A totally different tune. I'm so sorry. I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. And let's remember the incident at the hotel was in Cassie's lawsuit. So here is what folks are saying. This person said, man, if that video was never released, you would have never been apologizing. Stop it. You're sorry because you got caught. It looks like he read a script. And I agree with that. We are with you, Diddy. Stay strong. He's got a supporter here with uh, 106 likes. Oh, well, no need to apologize. You're already cooked. So you didn't say sorry until you got caught, though. At the end of the day, you're still cooked. Wrap it up. We don't care. He only apologizing because he got caught. If the video would have never leaked, he would have denied everything like he was doing before. And this comment from comedian White Yardy with almost eight thousand likes and he said but if the video never came out you would still be saying it's all lies that seems to be the consensus 
that if the video did not get leaked, Diddy would have still been denying everything. And that's pretty evident. A blind man can see that. And it looks like the apology has come too late because Diddy's former bodyguard says Diddy was putting hands on Cassie, Kim Porter, and many other women. Where is the apology for those women? Why did he not name the women that he's apologizing to? Could be he's got a pretty solid PR team behind him and maybe they advise not to. I don't know. And you know what? This is also disappointing because so many aspired to be like Diddy. He was seen as a very inspirational figure. And I think it's safe to say that what we all witnessed was disgusting and disturbing. I definitely think that Diddy is done, but I do feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg. I think there's so much that we don't know, so much going on behind the scenes that may be released as well. So I think it's just the beginning. What are your thoughts? Do you accept Diddy's apology? Again, let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you.